So the next item of business is try to figure out how to mount this choke conversion kit. This is adding a choke to this freaking mower. Okay, so I'm gonna take this apart for about the 12th time. Need to drill a hole through there. So I need to cut a little bit of piece out of there. About like this. Okay, so that might do it. So how this thing works is when the engine warms up, it pushes this pin out via some wax, okay? When the engine cools off, it pushes the pin in. And so that cooling and that cooling off and warming up pushes this lever like this, okay? Which is freaking crazy. It's a really awesome idea. It doesn't work. So when as that pushes that, this is like this, okay? What it does is it pushes this and it closes the choke. So with this right here, this is choke on, this is choke off. Okay, so now that I have this exposed, you can see the choke mechanism right there. I picked up this choke kit right here. I don't know how this thing's gonna work. This is just a universal kit. It can be used for any engine. And so there's gonna be lots of parts and pieces in there. So I just would like to somehow figure out some way to make this work. Came with all this stuff, and I just have to figure out a way to make it work. I've got some instructions here. Hey, what's up, guys? You guys being my pals? What are you doing? Adding a choke to this mower. I don't have to deal with the freaking auto choke piece of crap. It will finally work. Wonder if I can just take this off like that. Hold that on there like that. Like that! Huh? <laughs> Don't kid yourself, people. Put that on there like that. That over here. That's got to hold like that. So that holds that, which is, that's exactly what I need. All I did was uh, use the piece there took out that bolt, that's awesome. So that works there. Just gotta figure out some way to uh, drill this onto there like that. And that's gonna be really easy to do. Holy awesome, guys, holy awesome, holy awesome. So you put a hole right here, like that. I'm gonna go with the hole right there. So just gonna crank this down here. Oh, that's, that's not good. That's not good at all. So I got it figured out. I put the choke on there. It took some finagling and figuring out. It was not the easiest thing to do. So I got the choke figured out. I have not tried it yet. I had the gas off. I had the blades off, put new blades on. I had a second set that I bought scraped the deck quite a bit and I mounted the choke right here I cut off a little bit more of this plastic right here I don't think it's gonna matter I guess only time will tell so that's gonna be choke on right there so when I pull it up there it's going to pull the choke to the off position there so Hopefully this works. Sure hope this is gonna work. Because if it doesn't, that's gonna suck because I just spent a good hour and a half finagling with it. Need some gas in there. I'm going to try it out. Put this on. How I have this set up is pulling it out, choke is off. I know it's like backwards pushing it down choke is in the on position which kind of sucks but it's the only way I can make it really work so it's fine let's try it out and see if I can get it to go choke on position like that I should just be able to pull it and then as soon as it fires I pull this out and it should give me maximum rpm and not bog down at all so here we go So 
So I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. That's a way better solution than the auto choke with the wax coupler. I thought that thing was retarded. So I'm gonna do mowing outside. I need to mow over there. I mowed this section last night. You can see this ring here, kind of these swirly patterns that I did with the rotary mower. Looks like crap. I'm not gonna lie and stand here and tell you that it looks awesome because it just flat really does not. So the plan is, Mow around the edges over here, pick up all the junk around the edges. I'm just gonna get my uh, ride on real mower, the 3100D, and go for it. Every time I leave for a week or a few days, I left for about five days, I always come back to this crap right here. See these right here? These are cottonwood tree suckers. Freaking hate cottonwood trees so bad. They're such a pain in the butt. There's another one right here. Oh, that's a big nasty root right here. Okay, so got handsaw right here. I'm gonna cut the root and stick my pliers down there and see if I can grab it. See that? So it sends up these nodules right here and then they spring up and grow trees. I don't feel like pulling roots tonight. I just want to mow the lawn. There should be another root right here, but there's a big rock. Who is that lucky Lou? It's like, oh yeah. That's, that's a neighbor. Like, yeah, I want to buy one of your shirts. That's the daughter of a felon that I work with. She wants to buy a shirt for her father. Yep. So look at this guy. He's big. There is more. Oh my gosh. Another one. Do that one there too. You just cut it? Yeah, I'm gonna cut it. See ya. See ya, buddy. Love you. Love you too. You're good. That one came from all the way over here. Then I likely cut it in, cut into it right here when I was planting this tree. I hate these freaking trees so bad. And then I've got another one right here. Let's see if I can get this one out of here. Stay out of my lawn. So look at this. This is a root. Crawls right under the surface of the soil. Runs along, grabs and steals all the nutrients. Takes all the fertilizer, not all of it, but it's robbing the grass of water. It's just taking the water and then goes under there and then it shoots up these shoots see that it's got these little shoots it develops these little nodules and they just spring up and creates another tree so the tree is really just one tree it's not several trees it's one tree one root system all tightly knit together and bound together so see so you've got these other trees got one two three of them right there and if I kill those the other trees that are in the neighbor's yard will just send more and more suckers over uh, I've torn up my nice looking lawn and now it just looks like crap and it's just too bad that I have to deal with that it's unfortunate really I'm gonna do my best to try to patchwork this back together get out my mower and kind of start mowing and doing what I came out here intentionally to do
So that left that a big fat mess. No, you can't <laughs> escape the camera. I know. You can't! Uh. Come on. Yay, yeah, that's a good thing. Come on, crawl over all the way. I want to show you guys the difference between one day of mowing with a rotary mower mowing low. So look at this section here where I've mowed today, okay? Doesn't look too bad, pretty green, really short. It's all the way down, looky loo there. So, doesn't look too bad, right? Green, decent. Even more green here. More top growth, greener, better looking. You see this section, this is the section that I mowed yesterday. Look how yellow it is. It's got that tinge of yellow. It just looks generally bad. So if you see this section here, this is what I mowed today. This hasn't been mowed in about a week or longer. And that was mowed yesterday with the rotary mower. But look at the difference of the quality. That's really bad. This is decent and that's good over there. So the deal is the rotary mower is inferior. It rips the tip of the grass like a machete and tears the lawn. So it's not ideal. I have got to clean that garage out. That thing is disgusting. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a quick mow job with this big guy and see what I can do. What happened there? Where is that? Oh, I'm out of fuel. Dang it. Guess I gotta go get some fuel. Just got back from getting the diesel. Let's see if I can get it in there without spilling a bunch. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Even more lovely. Just spill the crap load of diesel all over the lawn, or all over the concrete. Good thing I didn't do that on the lawn. It's starting to get dark. I was kind of hoping to get a, that I could get some, a good mowing. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. Pretty much knew that was going to happen because I've done this like four times. It happens like that every freaking time. <laughs> out of fuel it doesn't run very good or has a hard time getting going it needs to get warmed up that we need to get that fuel cycled through the machine so it's not running fantastic right now actually so the real mower cut is just uh, just far superior just kind of went around the whole perimeter it took about three or four minutes. Sold those old red ones? I just sold them just now. That's, right. why, we're that's why we're a little late. So that's why I was wondering what the crap you're late for. So look at that, guys. He doesn't have any of his PPE on. No PPE. He's taking out the spark plugs. And he's risking, you know, starting the machine up, cutting his hand off with the blade. He doesn't have his PPE on. 